start. Okay, this is the uh, Fisher Controls uh, 4195 pressure controller. It's one of the best uh, controllers and also very precise controller. Uh, this version of the uh, 4195 has no auto manual station. It will work only in automatic. The other model is it has an auto manual station attached to it, similar to this one. Similar to this one. So this is an auto manual. You switch it to manual or you switch it to auto. Okay. But this one, which I am doing the uh, this video for, doesn't have that uh, auto manual station. Okay. Uh, first of all. This type of controller, before you install it and, and run it, you need to do a few checks. Uh, the first check you need to, to do is to check the process variable indication. Now, it is showing zero, so the scale is zero to 100, which is zero to 10 on the scale, times 10, which is zero to 100 total scale. So that's 100 PSI scale. So I will do the first check, regardless if it's a new controller or um, uh, 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 an old controller. Before you start using it, you need to do a few checks. First check is to check the process variable. So I will uh, demonstrate how to check the process variable. I have already connected the process variable and the, uh, power, um, the air supply and also the output from the controller and all of them are connected. Uh, I have 20 PSI connected to the controller as a supply because this controller is uh, 3 to 15. And I'm taking my supply air is from this 20 PSI here. This is my 20 air supply, okay? This is the 20 supply. And I'm taking my uh, input signal to, uh, the, sorry, the output uh, signal from the controller is coming to this indicator here. It's, it's showing here as an input. And the other one, this indica indicator here, is the process variable. This simulates my process variable, which is now, it is zero, which is 0 0.5. Uh, showing now is 0 0.5. So I can increase here. I will increase <coughs> my uh, process variable to 25%. Okay, it's now 12 PSI input. <clears throat> I will take it to 25%. And it should, the controller should read 20, 25 on the scale. So, okay, so if you look now at the controller scale, you will find it here. It's 25, it is reading 25 PSI. I, if we just continue, here I will increase the, I will increase to 50%, which is 50 PSI. Okay, now you see the, the the controller process variable indicator, it is reading 50 PSI. Okay. It is now reading 50 PSI. I will increase to 75% and you can see it now. It is going up and until 75% PSI, which is 75% of the full scale. Okay. That's 75. Okay, now that's 75. I will go to 100. Okay. Forty-seven. No. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Okay. That's my my full my my instrument air does not reach 100, but that is I mean almost enough. It is uh, 99, it's showing here on the input signal. If you look in here, if you look in here, I, 
I cannot increase more than because my supply is less at, at the moment. So anyway, so this verifies that the process variable is uh, working nicely. So we have checked the calibration. If it is not uh, within calibration, then in this case, we need to adjust uh, the pointer to read from 0 to 100. The zero adjustment is from here. You have to loosen this lock knot, then turn this um, screw to adjust the zero. Yeah, then to adjust the span, if the span is less or more, you need to adjust it from here. Okay? Uh, this is the first, as I said, this is the first check. The second check on the uh, controller is you need to check the flapper alignment. The flapper alignment, to do the flapper alignment check, you need to go to this link. See in here this link? You need to disconnect that one. If you Disconnect that one and set it to 50% and put it, fix it on 50%. So I put this tape here to just hold it in place and I put my sit point to uh, almost in the middle. Now I need to do the alignment, I need to lock in 9 PSI in the reset bellows. This is the reset knob. It is now, it is fully open. If you can see this little notch here, this one means open. This is the close, we cannot turn it. It can go only to the other side. So I need to increase the output of the controller until it reaches 9 PSI, which is 50% of the output signal. Then I will lock that, that 9 PSI inside here. So I will move this one and until I will move the set point until I get 9 PSI. Then I will lock it. Now, uh, okay, I set the output and I locked the uh, reset valve to close position. I already locked in, in the bellows 9 PSI. Now here, I align the set point at 50% and the pointer at 50%. Then, to carry out the flapper alignment check, okay, and you can see also on the gauge it's 9 PSI here, okay. To carry out the alignment check, I need to remove this one, this cover from here. Okay. okay. So, this is the, the, if you look in here, this is the flapper. This is, this, uh, a crescent, I mean, <coughs> metal, it is the flapper. This is the flapper. This is the nozzle. This is the nozzle. I will move. You can see the, the nozzle is moving along the flapper all the way up and down. Okay. Now, to check the alignment, we need to make sure along the proportional band, whatever the, <coughs> the uh, nozzle is moving on the flapper, the output does not change. So, if you look here, and it's 9 PSI output. Regardless, where I, wherever I put this proportional band, the 9 PSI stays here on the gauge. Okay, if it moves up, like up to goes to 11, or it goes back to seven, that means it does, it's not aligned. It needs alignment, the flapper needs alignment. So, but this one, you take it from 20 on the proportional band scale, okay, it is stays 20, around uh, 9 PSI, you take it to the middle, it is also 9 PSI. You take it 20 on the other side on the reverse action of the controller, which is 20, and you will see it, it's around 9 PSI. So this one, uh, this controller now, it has, I mean, a flapper alignment perfect. Okay, now, we need to do the third check on the controller, okay, which is by opening the reset. Now we need to see the response of the controller at 100 p uh, proportional uh, uh, value here. We need 
to open it and see the output change, okay? If it's, it doesn't change, uh, what we expect is that 9 PSI will not change if it's matching exactly. There is no difference between the set point and the process variable, okay? Or it should start moving one side, like going high or low. So let's see what is the behavior of the controller now. See, if I open the, the reset and watch the output. It's almost not moving, it's moving very slowly. It will continue driving all the way up to maximum output. But I can tell you, this controller is, is good. So how do we know if it will, it will work, I mean, correctly in, when it is installed in the process? See, if you look at the set point, if I make this tip of this pointer, okay, pointing to the edge of this set point here on this side, I should see the controller driving the output, okay, one way, which is going down. It is driving the output control because it sees a difference between the process variable and the set point. So it is going all, all the way down and it will continue until it reaches zero. Okay, and look at it, it's at 100%, the pointer at the edge of the set point, it's gone all the way to zero. Now, I need to move it to the other side of this, uh, point, uh, the set point, which is this one here. Now, it will start, continue going up all the way until it reaches the maximum output. And you can see it's driving up. So this uh, proves to me that the controller will work correctly as soon as it sees a difference between the set point and the process variable. See now, it, the output has reached the maximum, which is 20. So now the, uh, the controller is ready, calibrated, aligned, and the response is correct. So you can install this one in the process without any problem and it will work fine. Uh, one question uh, from uh, uh, some people asking, what is the proportion of where to put it? Always, uh, as a rule of thumb, start with 100%, like one change in the input, uh, uh, sorry, in the, in the error from the uh, process, it will create an out 1% uh, change in the output. But forget about all those terms. Start with one-to-one -one proportional, okay, which is 100. Okay, if you, uh, if you treat the proportional band as this is how fast you want the controller to respond to a change in the process. For example, if I want the controller to be fast, I will go higher on this type of controller. Like I can take it to 200, okay? So it will react quickly. Okay, but if I want it to react slowly, I will take it below 100%. Uh, so you treat the, uh, or you tune the controller using the proportional um, as, as a, a speed of act of the controller. Okay, now we come to the next one, which is the reset. There's a lot of people uh, get confused how to use the reset. Okay, the reset, it is introduced to the controller for one reason. Proportional control is not enough um, uh, to precisely bring the process at set point. Sometimes if the controller is working for a long time, you will see the valve is in a fixed position and your process is, is stable, but you will see there is a difference between the process and the set point. For example, you will find that your, you put the uh, set point at 40, but your loop came to uh, a stabilization at 50. So that happens if you have only proportional band. But the reset is introduced to eliminate that offset, the difference between the set point and the, uh, the process variable it will reduce that error and make it always very close. And you adjust that one by the reset. So 
By experience, I can tell you to start with the reset, I mean adjustment, start always between 0 0.025 and 0 0.05. Okay, this controller. This controller has, it's a minutes per repeat. How many minutes it will keep adjusting the output until it brings the, uh, the uh, uh, process to a stable position. So with level and pressure, you can put it anywhere between 0 0.025 and 0 0.05. That's what, and I think that will, will be fine. So this is, I can say, this is, I mean, most of uh, the uh, common questions and people how to adjust, how to calibrate, how to do the alignment. The only uh, thing that takes time when working with this controller is the flapper alignment. I will do um, another video for uh, flapper alignment only next time. But this is an, a general overview on the controller on how to use it. So if you finish with that one, you can remove this tape and return the link back in there. Okay, secure it. Okay. And uh, I can say now this controller is ready for use. Okay, and we can put everything back to, uh, to how it was. Okay, so if you have any questions regarding this controller, uh, yeah, you can put in the comments. And uh, if you have specific problem you want me to talk about, okay, I will be glad to help you on that one. Thank you.